And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Osser, Rand, and Band. This is a kids game from Zoc, and it's about building robots. I like building robots, but what's even cooler for me personally is this game comes with a conveyor belt that dice fall off of. That sounds interesting. Let's see how it plays. At the beginning of the game, each player is going to roll two dice of their color and place them on the corresponding spots here on the board. So you can see a lot of threes were rolled, a two and a four. Um, the dice go all the way up to one through four. There is no fives, although there is a five spot here on the board. On a player's turn, they're going to roll some dice and add them to the, the spots. All right, simple enough. Then you're going to pick a die and put it here, taking the action of that one. This lets you move your opponent's die. This lets you move your own dice. This lets you turn dice into one. This lets you pick an action that you've already done before. This one here lets you roll an extra die. So let's say I pick that one. I roll an extra die and I add it here to one. When you're done with that, you'll take the top tile from the stack and you're going to push these, knocking them down. No one won that tile, so it stays there. It's going to be won by the next person. So let's say it's Purple's turn. Purple adds some here. Purple decides that they are going to uh, change. Uh, purple is going to just essentially, let's see, Purple will move one of the gray dice back. Fine. Now we put another tile down like this, and you can see well, that orange one shouldn't have fallen. The gray fell, and it rolled a four. So gray wins this tile and this tile. Later on, let's say nothing changed. We put this down. You're going to look at the dice that fall, and whoever has the highest total wins it. And then they'll get that tile. You keep doing this until all the tiles are gone. Once all the tiles are gone, you slowly, one at a time, do this, knocking them down to see who wins each tile. So again, there's all these different spaces here, which will let you do different things, but knocking the tiles down and having the most, the highest number rolled when they fall down determines who wins it. At the end of the game, you're going to be putting robots together. And by putting robots there, that's how you get points. So you're going to get uh, points for any robot that you put together. So that's if, if it's all the same color, that's seven points. If it is a multicolored robot, it's five points. And then any tile you've left over is just one. So this is a multicolored robot because you can see I got red, red, and yellow, yellow. But this one here would be worth seven points because this is a completely red robot. That's it. That's how you play. It's a pretty big box to have here, and it's just so that this thing here, which is built out of cardboard, fits in it. But really, there's not a lot of other pieces. It's just a pile of dice and tiles. The dice themselves are fine. Uh, the tiles are also, you know, it's your typical cute robot type thing. My biggest complaint about the game is those symbols are not intuitive. And you have this whole thing here, but this is a kid's game, and these are just not simple symbols for kids to understand. Of uh, All the component problems I have with, that's the biggest one. I mentioned that the symbols were confusing for kids, but also, and you saw it happen one time when I was pushing them, the dice get caught on that lip and they don't fall off. That's kind of annoying. It doesn't happen occasionally. It happens like every three times the dice fall off. I just wondered why that was even a thing. Anyhow, this game is an interesting game. Kids are going to look at it and go, ooh, this is fun. To push these and then see the dice fall off and however they roll, that's who wins the tile. There are some problems, though, with this game, and I'm all willing to overlook some problems with kids, but I already mentioned one. All those symbols on the side of the thing are very unintuitive. Very. Even I'm an adult, and I'm like, oh, I don't remember what all these do. The game is, you know, there's one that lets you push your dice on, fine, but the fact of the matter is, is when they fall off at the end, oh, this is all about putting them on. When they fall off, you're randomly rolling the dice to put them on. You can kind of manipulate a little bit with one special ability. Then they fall off, and who knows what happens. I have three dice, they all roll once, you roll four. Woo! And I have seen this game play multiple times now where one person had almost nothing. You know, they had a lot of dice, they tied somebody, 
when the tile came up, and then the next person had one die, won both tiles. And then they did another one, and they, they, they might win one tile. The next person, then there's another tile, another tile. Then one person wins three tiles. And it's very easy for, in this game, for someone to crush somebody else. And it's not because the other person played poorly. It's just blind luck. And my kids, who have a way high tolerance for luck than I do, I my, you know, I'm, I want to see some balance in the luck. Even they thought this game was just crazy lucky. The tiles you get are lucky sometimes. The, the rolls and you build the robots again and look, I happen to get three yellows and you have th four legs. You know, you have four points and I have seven. It's just, uh, it's a fun concept, but it's like they couldn't decide that it was a kid's game with all these weird powers, which are not easy to figure out. And then at the same time made it so crazy lucky that even kids were annoyed by it. It's a bad combination, unfortunately. It's a one-note game, which could be a very fun one-note, and yet somehow I feel like it's botched and it doesn't come through that well. So I can't really recommend also Rand and Band, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm probably not. I wanted to like this a lot because it looked cool and it wasn't very enjoyable. Dice Tower Judgment, even for kids, it's too random.